if you want to create a web page and publish it online there's really only three things you need to do that the first thing is you're going to need a program to create the web page now most of you are familiar with Dreamweaver because it's a WYSIWYG to editor meaning what you see is what you get uh, programs like these allow you to kind of design pages visually now those WYSIWYG programs are great but they're also obviously they could vary in price and you don't even need that you could just use a plain old text editor because in the end um, what a WYSIWYG program is doing is generating background HTML code for you so in the most basic scenario where you don't have that you could use uh, one of two programs that are installed on your computer. If you're on the Mac, you'll have TextEdit installed in your Applications folder. And TextEdit is just that, a text editor that um, is just fine for editing web pages. Similar to TextEdit is on Windows is Notepad. And Notepad basically does the same thing. It just allows you to edit text on a page. So that would be the first step is creating the web page the next thing is you'd want to publish your web page and in order to publish a web page you need you need the next two elements first you need a web host and that's the destination where that file is going to live if you create a file on your computer more than likely the rest of the world's not going to be able to access it on your computer so you need to send it to a computer that actually allows web pages to be accessed on its computer and that's called a web host there's tons of uh, web host options both free and paid now for any professional project you want to go with a paid provider but if you're just doing stuff for school or you just need um, some web space for some kind of really not mission critical web page um, free hosting is a great option for that and f as far as I'm concerned one of the better free hosts is 000webhost.com so they're a great place to sign up for things to sign up for web hosting now obviously from when, when you create your program on your computer to uploading it you need a mechanism to do that and the what they've created and one of the most common ways to do that is via FTP uh, file transfer protocols what that stands for now FTP is basically the the way that the file gets from your computer to the web host and in order to FTP something or upload something you're gonna need a program that does that um, going back to Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver has inside of it uh, the ability to upload things because it has an FTP client in there. But you could get a standalone client as well. And one of my favorite standalone clients is Cyberduck. Now, Cyberduck is free and open for anybody to use, and it's both compatible with Windows and Mac so it's a great neutral program that we could use to upload things so in order to get started you're gonna need to do two things first sign up for a web host now the URL for what 00 web host or 000 web host is www.000 webhost Dot com and once you land on the main page you'll see that down below they have uh, they compare their free hosting with premium hosting and for our purposes the free hosting is just fine so in order to get started with that you'd click on the order now button and then you go through their uh, form over here to get your your password information um, now since you're gonna if, you, if you're gonna be signing up with a free account and you don't already have a domain registered then you just you'll choose one of these free subdomains so I would recommend you put some kind of name in here 
and then you put in your name and your email address and all that and if if all works out well your URL your actual where your page is going to be hosted is going to be at www whatever name you selected dot site fifty dot net and this is the typical sign in uh, like registration process where you sign up for this they send you an email uh, confirming your submission and you click the link and you kinda go through that if it doesn't go directly into your inbox I'd recommend checking your junk mail folder and because uh, it could potentially been thrown in junk since it's an automated system doing it if you did check your junk and you don't see it it could be that your email account uh, has some restrictive spam settings on there and really um, the best thing to do probably the easiest would just try some other email address um, meaning that if you're using a Yahoo address and it's not getting through try a Gmail address or a Hotmail address hopefully you won't have to jump through too many hoops to get that um, the other thing is download cyberduck now cyberduck could be found at cyberduck.ch I believe that's a Switzerland and um, right here you'll see the Windows version and the Mac version um, so go ahead download that program and install it for yourself and you'll be ready to move on